Hey everybody, it's Seasons with Sassy. I am coming to you today uh, with something that I got from the Pinners Conference Utah. This weekend, I went to Pinners Conference Utah and it was amazing. There were so many awesome people, just amazing people that I met and just so many amazing crafts that I was able to make. Um, one of the things that I signed up for very first when I bought my Pinners ticket was the Home Depot kit. They normally will teach a class and it's always amazing and it's always free. Um, this year they didn't teach a class, they just gave away a kit for free and it's always amazing, like I, like I said. And so I am going to be showing you today the kit that they gave out to everybody and I'm going to be putting it together so that you can see um, what it is and I'm, I'm kind of excited. You can already see I've got some wood dust on me. Um, I'm just gonna show you, I've already opened up the kit, so but I wanted to show you how it came. So it came like this and it was in you know a plastic covering, but I already have taken all these pieces out and I've already sanded them down because you definitely need to sand all of your wood pieces and I would recommend doing that anytime that you get any wood pieces. Even if it looks smooth already, um, when you sand a piece of wood down, it's just going to take whatever stain or whatever paint that you're gonna paint on it, just adhere better and you never know, there might be a splinter that you might not see. So I, it, in the kit, it came with a sand piece of paper. Also came with the screws to put it all together. And then it came with all of these wood pieces. So I am going to just show you me putting this together. I've already, like I said, sanded all these pieces down. And I know that it's gonna sand it down when I feel comfortable rubbing my hand over all the pieces and I know that I'm not gonna get a splinter. So you really wanna sand them all really well. Um, I would say in this kit, the, the piece that was, well, that needed to be sanded down the most would be this flat piece. The edges were just really, really rough. So I made sure that I sanded this down twice and really ran my hand along the edges to make sure that there wasn't any splinters that I could get on there. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna switch my camera angle so you can see it a little bit better, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I was going to also show you that it does come with some instructions on how to put this together and what it contains. So it says the two long shelf sides, um, it comes with the two shelves. So these are the shelf sides. These are the shelves. And then it comes with the two rail pieces over here. It comes with the back panel. And then it comes with nails and screws. So that's what it comes with. And then it says, obviously, start by sanding each piece of wood with supplied sanding pad to remove any rough edges. Remember to sand in the direction of the wood grain. That is something that I forgot to tell you earlier. You always wanna sand in the direction of the wood grain because that's just gonna make it just even nicer and smoother. All right, step one, it says attach shelves to one side piece with screws aligned to pilot holes on in side piece. So we're gonna take our first side piece and I like to look at mine to see which kind of looks a little bit more rough to put that on the inside. And these, these just look, it looks like they screwed from this side, so it's a little bit more rough on that side. So those are the side pieces of the pieces that I'm going to put this together on. So I'm going to grab my shelves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it. You see where it's shows the two drill holes right here. So I'm gonna line it to that. So I'm gonna put it flat to where those holes are and then I'm gonna get my... So you guys can use a handheld um, drill, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just using the Black & Decker Lithium 20 volt. I think that's what the V means. I don't know. Um, and I'm going to put those together. So you want it to be pretty steady and you wanna try and keep it to the middle, those holes to the middle of your piece of wood. And I'm actually gonna, again, I have a rough side. I want that in the back, so I'm gonna want my smooth side, my smoother side in the front. 
and you kind of want to make sure that it's steady and so it'll go straight on oh, that's not gonna stay in there. That's all right. so i try and put my screw in the top there it's nice that that hole is already done there and it's going to give you some tension once it's, it gets in there that's a good thing you just want to keep your pieces together so try and hold them together as best you can there we go that's nice okay so there's one and we're going to do the other side again make sure that those that that side is gonna be nice and lined up in the center here before you start screwing that down. And I, for me, it took a while before I decided I was um, brave enough to start using uh, a drill bit, but oh my gosh, ever since, I am loving it. I feel like I have to ask the hubby hubs for help with certain things. So there we go, that piece is in on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other piece. And again, I'm looking for the smoothest. Looks like this is the smoothest, but it's got a chunk missing out. So I am gonna go ahead and do it like this. I love the grains in the wood, but I am most likely going to paint it, probably with a chalk paint. And on this bottom piece, I wanna make sure that it's gonna be lined up with the bottom. See, right there. I wanna make sure it's lined up with the bottom. And then we're gonna get our screw, put it in there, and then drill it in. Again, I like to keep it like pretty steady with the, with the table. This is how I'm actually gonna do this. I'll make sure it's steady. Level with the table. Bring it back to place because as it um, screws that screw in it kind of will sometimes want to bring the wood on this end that's not screwed down away so you got to check and make sure that that's level because we don't want a wonky yes i said wonky we don't want a wonky piece we want it to be nice and straight on I'm actually gonna screw these in just a little bit more because I want a more flush. I want the screw to be flush with the board. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. So again, you're gonna wanna make sure that all your pieces are facing the right direction. So we want this curved piece to mimic the other side, right? So, go like this. Have this nice and flush. I'm gonna do this bottom piece first, I think. Oh, did I do that? Yeah, that's the right side. Okay. I'm gonna do this bottom piece first, make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. Don't worry if it looks a little crazy when you put it together, because once you screw it all together, it's gonna look fine. So sometimes the wood is gonna feel like it's uneven, but again, like I said, don't worry about it. Once you screw it all in, it's gonna be fine. This one you have to hold a little bit more taut on mine. This round is gonna make it easier for me to get in there. a little bit more flush with the wood. If you want to, you can fill these in with some wood putty. All right. So 
So now we've got those two pieces together, actually four pieces together. Now we're gonna put in our railings. And there's already a hole again on this side, right underneath the curve, and on the other side, underneath the curve. And then at the bottom, there's also another piece that shows the bottom uh, rail piece. So, and I'm gonna find my best side. I like that side. And I'm gonna have to kind of wiggle this in here because it is a little tight. But I mean, it's supposed to be. All right, and then I want it kind of flush with the bottom of that curve. So that's where I'm gonna put mine. Kind of wiggle it into place. I'm actually gonna do the same with the other one while we're here. This is uh, it's my best side. And if it's kind of tight. If you go in at a diagonal, it makes it a little bit easier. This one you're gonna want to be even with your hole that's on the other side. So you can bring it down here and just kind of gauge from where that hole is. Just kind of try and put your railings in between that. I'm actually gonna do my bottom pieces first. My bottom railings. Why not? All right, go ahead and put the screws in. I don't like having undone projects, so I had to do this project as soon as I got home. So there's that one. Now we come to the other side. pieces are a little bit smaller, so you do kind of have to See how I'm trying to turn my wood piece? That's just kind of what happens. Okay, great. There's my bottom railing. Now I'm gonna do my top railing. Just find those pieces. Guys, these are so easy, really. The hardest part is just finding the time to do it. So do it when your kids are either sleeping or at school. That's my trick. Mamas can be handy with tools too. Er, other side, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost done. Any project that I can make in under 15 minutes, I'm all for that. I still have to paint this, but putting it together isn't bad. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna wanna put on our back piece. So that's the big flat piece, so it says to turn it around and turn it upside down. Kind of make sure your wood pieces are where you want them to be. You're gonna flip this upside down. And see, they already have this there so you can, okay. All right, and it already has the holes on this piece that shows you where to hammer in your nails. So, I wanna, have to, I wanna check to make sure which side I want it on to. Which side do I want to put on? Yeah, I think we have it on the side I want it on. Okay. Yep. So, I forgot to get a hammer. I will be right back. Okay, we're back, I have a hammer. Okay, so, again, we want to make sure, for me, I want to make sure it's flush on the bottom side first so that your wood pieces are lining up nice and even on that bottom piece. So I wanna do that first, so I'm gonna do the bottom pieces. And these are really, really tiny nails, so you're gonna to wanna to be really careful. So I just usually pound them in just a little bit and then I start pounding them in. So just do a little tap to make it so that it goes in all the way. And again, when you do this, you wanna, on one side, you wanna make sure that it's still lined up on the other side when you do it. Nice 
there's already that hole there, but you still just want to give it a tiny tap so you don't hurt your fingers. And then after that initial tap is in, you can just put it all the way. Again, I like to make it so that it's nice and flush. And then we're gonna go on the other side. Do both sides again. Tiny tap. I'm actually gonna do this other side too. Tiny tap. Last one up top here. There you have it. It is all done. I'm super excited to paint this. It's gonna be super cute on my wall. And I will show you guys the finished painted product as soon as I am done painting it. Thank you so much Home Depot. This was an awesome giveaway. I'm super excited. I'm gonna put this in my craft room. There's gonna be all kinds of fun crafty things in this. All right, Home Depot. I just have one question for you. Will you marry me? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So I normally would paint this either a, like a gray or a white or a black to go in my kitchen and I don't know what made me decide to choose this stain instead. I chose to use the Folk Art Home Decor wood tint in the color walnut and I did two coats on this. It's not dry yet. I will show a picture at the end of this video when it's completely dry, but oh my gosh, like I love this so much. It reminds me of like my grandma's spice rack in her kitchen. And to me, there is nothing that like screams farmhouse to me than grandma's spice rack in her kitchen. I love this so much. I am planning on, I was gonna put this in my craft room. I have now decided this is definitely going in my kitchen. And I'm not gonna use it as a spice rack. I know a lot of people use, and myself included, use the tear trays to decorate and cute holiday decor or whatever decor for the season. I am going to use this for that as well. This is gonna be really fun. It's gonna be kind of an experiment, but Home Depot, I love you so much. Thank you for bringing uh, Pinner's Conference your amazing kits for free. Uh, that's just amazing. And we love you guys. Please keep coming. We just, we love all of the free goodies that you've been giving us. I love this so much. You guys, like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some farmhouse tiered trays this week, so you don't want to miss that. And I hope you guys have a great night or day. I always do this at night. That's why I always say have a great night. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Like and subscribe so you can get these awesome videos.